Happy day. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome back to the Runs Podcast, episode number 23. 23. How's it going, Nick? You okay? Not bad, mate. Not bad. We seen you the other day, but yes, it's decent. decent I know. We so are far. not. We're not doing very well at this episode every fortnight, do we? Do we? <laughs> no, no, because you you like keep getting guests on and pushing it because you love it. But we are flat out. Thank you to everyone oh, that yeah. is coming on because we are full up until October, maybe, and that's only because October will be easy to fill because it's Cardiff half month as well. So we'll get some Cardiff half veterans on. Um, maybe get Ben Q in as well because he's going to be running Cardiff off. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone that's kind of we, we've reached out to and you've said, yeah, I'd love to get us on because we don't have to worry about guests for quite a while now. So that's good. good. It is good. Yeah, good few months. So yeah, appreciate everyone giving up their time and saying yes to come on and chat yeah. shit with us. We didn't have much chance to recap on anything last week because it was the first garden episode and we'll get on to that. But let's throw it back a little bit. Before before the garden episode, we were up my stake running the fun day Keeper of the Colliery 10K. You enjoyed our debut the best, didn't we? It was yeah. um, pink vests everywhere. It was. It's an hard run, though. Yeah, it's a tough, uh, tough route, and if those around my stake will know it, it's not an easy 10k. It's obviously two loops as well. You've got to do that nasty climb up from the school. But it's a good yeah. one, because, like I say, it's a bit of a more casual one, more of a fun run, 5 and 10k. So, enjoy it. Yeah, definitely enjoyed it. Twist my ankle on, because that's what I do. My ankles have felt, I've felt every bone in my ankles for the last kind of three days. I haven't done anything since. I was going to say, it wouldn't be out since, because obviously, yeah, I didn't think you had. But so I didn't, didn't, I I've just been careful. It's all right now, but I've lost a day until, like, I was driving into work this morning, planning up my day, and I thought, I'll get home. Amy's going to get her nails done. Carter's over his father, so I thought, I'll get home, I'll walk the dogs, and then I'll get my running shoes on, and I'll go and have a little trot, on the assumption that it was Wednesday. Wednesday, not, not the way recording. Thursday. No. So, yeah, so that's out the window. But we've got the shakeout tomorrow down Downpath Call. Looking forward to that. Um yeah. we'll tell everyone a bit more information about that and we'll just clip it up quick and get it out tonight to see if anyone's coming down. Yeah, um so we're teaming up with Rack to obviously provide our or do our vests for us. So meeting up with them for a collab sort of a shakeout run. Six thirty start. It's in the eye type car park, grown grind, a little cafe yet, so just driving to the right type car park, you'll see us over in the far corner. And it's going to be a nice, relaxed, easy, chilled 5k on the first half of the course for Sunday's Puff Call 10k. So I think it's about in our run group on the Strava. I think it's about 15 to 20 coming. So hopefully everyone turns up. If not more, if not less, so be it. And we'll just have a little chill chat and run a coffee after or a pint if you want a pint. Yeah, you owe me a drink, Nick, after not getting me a drink for the I entire do. episode last week. I do, but I know, I can't believe that. <laughs> There's loads of cans of pop in the fridge as well. I don't know why I didn't, just nothing again, sorry. I apologise again. Halfway through, I was like, halfway through, I was parched and I thought... Oh, I didn't get I get up and get one night? Because I thought, at the end, this is going to be funny now, so I'll just wait until... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, I'm not no, tight, I just did generally just like, I'm in beers, I didn't even think... <laughs> no, you're not tight at all. The Wolfpack boys slammed the beers down in fair play. They enjoyed it. It was good. I enjoyed it. I was anxiety for that one, nervous for that one, because it's the first one in the garden. But like I said, I think you designed our garden knowing there was going to be a podcast in there in the future because the table could, and the setup could, was like perfect. I could see three years ahead, like, you know what was coming. <laughs> yeah. But it was really good. Well, Thanks well, to the Wolfpack well, well, boys for being well, guinea pigs as well. <laughs> And special shout out to Ryan George, who has confirmed that if we're ever on holidays, he will dive in and be a um, guest host right, for us. Uh, nice one, Georgie. Yeah, cheers, bud. He's uh, what did Peely say? He's getting like the bit like the overlap. He's like the guy. That's yeah, always on. <laughs> yeah, he'll end up as Rooney when Rooney was on for a couple, yeah. and they go, oh, yeah, just have a spot. So yeah. hopefully, Georgie doesn't take over the Plymouth job when Rooney gets sacked and ditches us now. <laughs> That won't take long. No. But um good, yeah. So 
That was good. We got some free caps off of boys as well. They are lovely. Nice caps. Lovely. Cheers, boys. Appreciate that. Absolutely. There's still learning curves to go with the garden <laughs> one because a bit of the audio was off here and there, picking up my voice on both the mics because I've got a low, monotone, droning voice. But, um, yeah, happy with the first episode and how it went. So nice one, boys. Yeah, have we had any, obviously, have we had any feedback on that yet off anyone? I know it only went out yesterday, but... Because, like, yeah, no. I listened to it back. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. I've only listened to it back. I was, I read it was all right. Sounded fine. Yeah, yeah. I um, I listened to it. Um, I enjoyed it. It's, a, it's weird, isn't it? Because I always listen to them back. And it's like I would yeah. listen to this anyway if it wasn't my podcast. So we must be doing something all right as well. Yeah. Um, I need to go back to it and clip up the story about Ben knocking doors, telling people he's going to do Cardiff Half Marathon and sounding like he's asking for sponsor money. That was a highlight. <laughs> that, that was good one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, good chat. And hopefully we'll get some more garden episodes um, before the rain <laughs> sets by as well. But it's raining right now here. So, yeah, it's supposed to be some Alec. It's under cover though, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, it'd be all right. Well, it's just nice, nice that if it was nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We'll have more so, on the day. yeah, that's Friday. We've got the um, shakeout. That's tomorrow. Saturday, then I'll probably I'm gonna try. We've got the dog lead as well, so I might Carter's playing football just like ten minutes away. So I'll probably just try and run Buzz down and watch him and back up, and nothing too strenuous. Then we've got Puth Call 10K on Sunday with quite a nice show in a friends as well, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's going to be loads there, we know, isn't it? <clears throat> because obviously it's, it's a local one. We have all the local running clubs there, so hopefully we'll see a load of people we know. And it's a good race now. I do enjoy it. I missed it last year with a hamstring injury, so I'm looking forward yeah. to racing it again. Yeah, we watched last year, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, you came down and watched as well, didn't you? <clears throat> it was good. Yeah, good. That, and I'm looking forward to that as well from a vanity point of view and for the podcast as well because it was nice to have all the vests out in my stake on um, Sunday but there was no professional photographers about or anything, was there? So we should get some nice shots of the boys in their vests, pink vests, your eyes peeled for our socials to see what we can find as well. Yeah, Happy so many we can spot. You're going for input call, right? Yeah, I'm going to go back to see where I'm at. Why not? Yeah. Training's been going well, said that the other week, so yeah, I'm going to have a pop. It's the skin it, character arc, isn't it? Change your record. What was that TV series? When somebody changes it, they have like a character arc. So you've yeah. got the skinhead now and we're changing the character and... arc and make you play off. Yeah. See if I can, uh, got a 5k PV last week, so see if I can get a 10k. Good start to summer. <laughs> I'm dealing in seconds this weekend. I'm looking for 59.59. It gets a bit ambitious, but... As I said in Twin Town, ambition is fucking critical. <laughs> so we'll see. Well, and then you got, you got pacer for that then, because I've seen this pacer, isn't it? Through this an hour pacer. I don't know where it'll depend where your position does start, but there's pacers. Pacers always confuse me because I see the pacer flag and I think, well, what if I haven't started with this guy? I'm going. Well, yeah, you just got to try. If you see them, try and keep the similar gap or close this slightly so you know then you should be in because they should. Run yeah. slightly under anyway. Maybe I'll run with Ben Keown and drop him like a snob mm-hmm. for the last three. After the top of Locks Lane, when the downhill. Do a Scott yeah. Gray like downhill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy days. So that's with Call on a weekend. And then <laughs> I go into proper tra- chorus. I've downloaded a chorus training plan to my watch in prep for Cardiff Half. It's a 12 week plan. So we'll go dark and then pound pound the pavements for a couple of weeks to see what we can do in Cardiff half. And, and I can't believe we're talking about that in 12 weeks and that'll be September and then it's nearly Christmas. Jesus Christ. Don't start, Dan. I wouldn't just turn the halfway <laughs> mark of the year. It's not fucking Christmas yet. <laughs> but you are not doing Cardiff half this year because you are otherwise engaged. That's what are you right. doing? Um, well, lucky enough last week, I've been selected for the Welsh Masters Marathon up in Chester on the same day. So, obviously, couldn't turn that down, chance to represent Wales. And even if it is only Masters, I, you know, I was landed to get that call or the email. And, yeah, looking forward to that now. Don't leave me long, you know, 12, 13 weeks, but it's plenty of time. I'm in good neck anyway. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's changed my plans a bit. So, obviously, Valencia was going to be my big 
winter goal marathon in December. But uh, I've got to do two now. We've got plenty of time in between. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a yeah. good hard block now, 12 weeks, and see what happens and represent Wales in the Masters up in Chester Marathon. Good. Happy days. This is another good example of how absolutely unorganised I am. Because I was like, let's book an Airbnb. Airbnb. I'll come up. Yeah. We'll do a vlog. We'll do a live podcast and stuff. Both got carried away. And then we're like, yeah. oh, shit. It's actually the same day as Cardiff off, so you can't come. It's funny when I was looking at the hotels, I was like, hang on, you can't come. It's the same day as Cardiff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I need, a, I need a PA or something. <laughs> What's Scott Gray's up to? Um... Oh. Before we get our guest on, something is bubbling in the water that we have been invited to go down to, official and official podcast of the event. The Tornapandi Track <laughs> Classic. That looks good. I'm yeah. quite excited to go. I booked half day. As soon as they messaged us, I was like, yeah, and I booked half day to get down there straight away. You can get it really. Yeah, that's a yeah. cracker. Obviously, I've seen Jake have already put up that he's racing. Um, I know they've obviously mentioned, you know, DMs, a few other boys are trying to get there, and it? But that should be a cracker. 5K, yeah. 1K, yeah. So, it is a night of 5,000-metre graded races, junior 1,000-metre and elite 1,000-metre races, targeting personal bests and Welsh records. Um, I'm not making this up off the top of my head. James Ennigan sent me this information. But Tornapandi Track regularly sees international athletes, sprinters and distances alike training week in, week out, and it's time to give the track the event that it deserves. Previously, you might have seen on our stories last night, we shared it. Um, Jake Smith ran it with the skinniest, the skinniest head skinhead I've ever seen in my life during COVID. 28 flat in a time trial in 2020. And Pierce Copeland, the famous shusher, Ran a thousand meter in two minutes and twenty. No, what's for thousand meters? Yeah, two twenty. Yeah, one k. Yeah, two twenty. Yeah, yeah probably right. In an handicap race, so it is a fast track, and he's right in what he's saying. I mean, there's such a buzz for Castles and Cardiff after they want to give Wales the track event. They need to go alongside them as well. Yeah. So it should be good. There's some mad brands on board already. Sport shoes are going to be there. Hardline coffees are going to be there. We will pop the link to the Tornapandi Track Classic into you as well, so you can follow them if you're not already following them. Some of the athletes already um, confirmed are British Indoor 100, 800 silver medalist Ben Claridge, Piers Copeland again, British Under-23 under half ma marathon record holder Jake Smith, European gold medalist Clara Evans and Commonwealth athlete Jenny Nesbitt are already confirmed with loads more to come. If anyone does fancy it, they're suggesting any athlete with a road or track PB under 21 minutes can be comfortable entering. Sounds good? Yeah, it's going to be class. Hopefully we get a good weather for it as well, it'll be in middle August. 14th, you said, and 14th of August, if we didn't mention 14th that. 14th of August, August it's a Wednesday, down in Tornapandi. And hopefully my battery will be charged enough on all my devices so we can go and do some live and do some interviews with the winners and the racers or whatever and get some good content down there as well. But yeah. it does, yeah. Yeah, it where it like is as well. If anyone's not seen it or see, we're following our socials, it's a great track. It's like right in the middle of great surroundings with the, all the mountain behind a lot of trees and hopefully, like say, nice weather up there and I'll get a good crowd watching as well as racing all them different graded races. It should be a great night. So you've got all these other events going on all over Britain. Like you look at the like the 10 day PVs, I'm not saying it's going to be anything like that, but that's what some in Wales should aspire to and they're getting something like that with all these great athletes that's in Wales somewhere and racing. Yeah, absolutely. And it's being put together by people who know what they're doing as well. Like, you know, yeah. it's not just... 100%. James Thee that's is like in charge of it and the athletes are already in the mix are ridiculous so it should be absolutely banging yeah it should be built back good that is pretty much what we need to cover so let me just send out an invite to this week's guest the infamous darren bishop from ponty Roden. <laughs> DB23, when I said. DB, I nearly, I nearly cancelled the episode when he said that, DB23. <laughs> um, he's been nervous all day. He's been texting me saying he's nervous. I'm like, you must be, you're probably the least 
nervous person I've ever come across in my life. Yeah. Sure. Let's see. In a camera. Yeah, exactly. I think he's more worried about the kids' gate crashing it. <laughs> but I've sent him I've a got... link, so let's, um, let's see what he's got to say. Right then, ready? I'll count us back in and then we'll welcome you. Ready, you steady, three, two, one. <laughs> welcome back. We've got the infamous Darren Bishop, the king of castle press-ups, <laughs> minus the tash. What's happening, Bish? You all right? Yeah, I'm all good, Matt. All good. You? Yeah. Yes, What's up? good, Matt. <laughs> nice little setup behind you, but there. Yeah, you need to get a wardrobe, Bish. It just happened. Just... It's a coincidence, really. <laughs> We've got tips for all your uh, Zoom meetings. <laughs> I don't do I don't oh. Zoom meetings, but this is the first for me. Is it? <laughs> you, we had to give the people what they wanted. So, well, I guess you probably know how it works anyway, but we just zip all the way back and then up to present day, right? Yeah, go on. I. So, where are you from? <laughs> Might give it away a bit, like. Um, but oh, and it's a boring <laughs> point of breathing from. Born and bred, like that's you. That's it. Ponty flat out forever. Where do you go to school in? Massacoid, Massacoid Primary School, not uh, in more centre Ponty. Like I moved up to the to the bull later on, like to past marriages. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so running, exercise, stuff like that. I know you've got plenty of experience in everything, but what about school? What sports did you do in school? Rugby and Ponty? Pretty, well, pretty much. Well, like everyone, really. Football, rugby. Um, that's uh, pretty much football, mainly, really, until, until I left school, really. And then, um, well, yeah, I joined the Army Street for, well, a couple of years after school. Um just played well, yeah, the football, rugby, and the odd bit of running, just to, but nothing, I didn't know, you know, how to get into running, really, just in the odd, odd bit now and then, like, yeah, so, mate, like everybody else, I think, they all, everyone in Wales, really, all football and rugby, and until they, uh, until they retire from it, like. Yeah, there's, there's no real athletics on, was it, for anyone, that I remember, it's anyway. was it? <laughs> it, like you said, it was just cross country, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved it, I loved it, the cross country, like, but it was, Every, you know, it was only every every so often in school. Like I wasn't part of any. Didn't, well, I didn't even know there was any clubs around you then. But um, yeah, I wish I got into a younger leg. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you shot off to the army and then army fitness and everything. And what? What? How long was you in the army for? Uh, just under four years. Yeah, just under four years. But uh, I, well. Kind of regret getting out of it now. I'd be retired by now if I got if I stayed in. Like, well, all dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What well, Paralympics then? Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the army, and that's where you made your connection to my stig, I guess, then, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The um, three or four boys I was in with at the time: Dartmouth, Spence, um. I pretty much spent all my leave down here. Whenever they were coming home, I'd, we'd drive home every weekend from Germany. Um, before I had a girlfriend <laughs> and that, like, I was just down, I was just down there every weekend with them, staying down with Dapper's parents' house. And, and that's how, well, later on then, I, well, knew, that's how I knew Grant later on through them, like. But, yeah, got to know quite a few boys down here. A few mental night outs down here, like. Not like, oh no, it's fucking shit up, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was open. a good week, I was on it. Yeah, it was good back then. Fucking nothing open now. I, I, I couldn't that tell you much about now. it. <laughs> it's all blue. Yeah, I remember we went to like, the escape. Would be the went to escape in a park, and I was from there. That was, that was wild, like, but yeah, I'm doing that again soon. <laughs> Good old days, fuck me. Yeah. Escape in the park. No, escape in the park. Not much sleeping in M days, bitch. Not much focus on rest and recovery, like. No. No. 
But that's not what this podcast is about. So when did running, what happened? You told me the other day, you said the boys took a piss out of you when you started running, right? Yeah, all my mates and I did, yeah. So like when I when I came out of the army, like I just went straight back to football and I jacked that in after a while then because um, like a lot, of, a lot of the boys at the ball, they all, all play rugby. Like, and, uh, one, one mate said, oh, come on, come on, a couple of games of seconds. Like, I said, all right, so I had a couple of games of seconds he, and he never played again then. But I carried on, I just carried on playing and just, I was I was shit like, where I I train all the time, but and turn up every week for you know, for the game like, but I'm terrible like I'm way too skinny for it, but I'd have a go like, and um, but then I I jacked it I did about four or five years of that jacked it in and then sat in a set and I was like and I don't I don't like put on weight or nothing like and I was sat in a set and like I noticed like I was put, to put on a little bit on my belly like I say right I I'm entering Cardiff half now enter Cardiff half. I think, yeah, 2012. And then I was like, I've seen like photos of me running over the top uh, of top of the mountain over here. Like, a little bit of a, like, a little bit going in my chin, in my chin and that, you know, a bit of weight coming in my chin. And uh, I was like, oh, 10 mile there, really chuffed with this. And um, it was po- it was on like a map my run, so it was like posting all the time my face, like every kilometre or every mile I was doing, just kept up, like posting on Facebook. Like, I'm looking back and thinking, oh, cringy, like. <laughs> But uh, and then like I, I I was looking I think it was on Twitter I was looking at like what uh, what clubs to join or whatever to see what it was about and the only one about I knew about was was Aberdeen and um, eventually then I come across Ponty Roden one uh, um, you know uh, Twitter account so I just messaged him there and um, well Nick Denny messaged me back he, but as he, he says today he groomed me so uh, I ended up going to Are Ponty you- Roden then yeah. So uh, yeah, I went I went down about a month before Cardiff half, and well, yeah, I've been here since twenty twelve. Like, I love it. Good stint, that. Yeah, yeah, great man. It's great. a catalyst for so many runners, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah we got so many. Like, uh, we got so, like, we probably see the amount of people in like our club vests in Cardiff half. It's like a showcase for the club, like. So it's uh, yeah, it's mm. brilliant. Got me right. Like, I wanted to do. I was. It was only twenty or thirty of us at the club at the time, um, and it, it just well, I, from day one I just loved it. Like I was trained, I could I could run in every day then with with someone from a club or um, I say every day, but five five every day in the weekdays. Like, but uh, yeah, I've loved it ever since. Like I don't train as much now with the club. I just make sure I do like a Tuesday club session, like doing the reps. Um, that's like. Before the kids come along, there was like a little gentleman's agreement with Mrs. Legs like, that I could do a Tuesday because it's a reps, like, and the other stuff I just do in my own time. And like when the boys go to bed, like, or stupid o'clock in the morning, or whenever they can. Yeah, it's like, like you've just, you just got to work around it. I've never had a young family. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just be out taking a piss every night, like, no, changes. No, I, 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 yeah, I used to like on a Monday, we used to meet up with a lot of boys. We used to go down Cardiff, do reps down Cardiff, Tuesday be club. Wednesday's just a jog. Thursday then to be reps with the club. Friday, I'd like a bottle of red wine like on a Friday. And a Saturday park and a Sunday long run. So they'd be like that every week. Like, but obviously, you can't do that when kids, younger kids come along. I've got an older boy oh. as well. Like, but uh, I used to have him on the weekend. So, you know, I could I could still do it in the weekdays. Then, like, but uh, yeah, it changes now. Sounds like a good routine. Ah, huh? sounds like a good seven day routine. Like a <laughs> bottle of red, park uh, run, uh, long run, red. Yeah, I've done park, right. I've done park runs in some messes, mind. <laughs> I bet. Red states. Oh, for 12, what did you run that first Cardiff half in? Not, not if it was your speedos and a Christmas at Bish, well, there was a time, but. First Cardiff half, um, one, 135, I think it was. Yeah, one thirty-five. I hate people like that. Sorry, bud. You already hate people like that. <laughs> and then uh, I think after the year, I'm just coming up low on our plans. Then I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember turning up like I had a had a jacket on, and um, within like the first couple of miles, I was running with it around my waist. I had a pair of bull rugby shorts on, a bull top on, and uh, I got this fucking jacket <laughs> around my waist. Like I'm like. Look by anything, what am I doing? Like, and now we just say we're just trying to do this, like, don't we? 
Yeah. Yeah. I said, Lizzie said the same, didn't she? Lizzie Dimon, when she was on, she rocked up in a bum bag for her first one. <laughs> and then you just evolved, like, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's basically like hardly oh, anything anyway now, like. Yeah, no. Like, yeah. Well, you literally, yeah. That's yeah, what you don't know. once you hear that is. That's what you that's like, Parker, that is. Once. <laughs> <laughs> So what's been what we, like? You must have done loads in the last twelve years. What keeps you turning up every day? And like, what's so you've done Cardiff half, and then you're in like I'm doing this. this I just love running, or yeah, pretty much. I didn't know much about like the events and stuff, so um, I did Cardiff half. Uh, started obviously with a cl- training twice a week with a club, and then we just starts talking about races and stuff coming up within a couple of months. Then. I got to know a group of people, and then one of the boys like, "Oh, fancy doing Iron Man or what?" I was like, "Well, all right, I die." But <laughs> I was about after the first, I was after the year, I think it was. No, I did the first marathon. I think it was. I managed to get a place off someone. And I did the uh, Clatty Marathon. Did that, and then one of the boys said, "Oh, fancy doing Iron Man or what?" Next year, I went, "All right, I die." So um, entered it, entered it like didn't have a bike. Went for my first swimming lessons at Merthyr Pool. No goggles. <laughs> like I like, and uh, <laughs> I was <just> burning like, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just and had a crack at that then, and well, just I was just entering, ripped, doing all the races, you know, all the local ones, um, another done another my second marathon, and but yeah, just more and more, you know, group of friends you get get you know get with like clubs grow massive now as well, so you get into different groups and different uh, targets and stuff, so. Yeah, it's just going into it like that, really. But, yeah, the Ironman was a bit of a shock, the first one, like. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's similar. It's the same story for everyone, and it's just a different kind of journey then, and it's like, yeah, fuck it, I'll just, all right, I'll just do it, and then I'll learn, like. But, yeah. like, yeah. we hate swimming. Like, this, we're going to change the name of the podcast to We Hate Swimming, I think, because every time we get <laughs> someone on the talks swimming. about swimming, it gives me anxiety, but real bad. Oh, but we used to go down um, down Cardiff Pool on a Monday, and it was like, um, <laughs> what was it called? It was like, uh, I don't know, it was like for all mixed groups. like So they would start the quickest in the middle, and they get slower and slower and slower. So he walks in, like, I know, uh, and we'd done a couple of swims, I like, got goggles by then, like. So we'd done a couple of swims, like, anyway, anyway got started in the middle. We thought, right, we're not going, 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 going to go to, like, the very end lane. We go, like, couple in. Anyway, couple in, I was like, right, let's go down one. Down again we go. I thought, right, stood next to this guy. Now, he's a biggish bloke. I thought, quicker than him. Quicker than him. Like, obviously, gone he was. I got this flipping, this was a woman with, you know, about flipping 80 odd Vera, flipping full of Varica's veins a lot. She's swimming, touching my toes. <laughs> Trying to take over me, like, I was going on. And it was sort of in 50 meter pool in it down here. It's not like it's normal um, yeah, 25. One of the boys that turned up nose plug got out, got out halfway down. Like, I was there for him. <laughs> you the difference in a 25 meter pool and a 50 meter pool might as well be 10,000 meters, like, because <sighs> I think that was like the end of my. Train swimming Mark, block yeah. in this era of my life, like because it's so far, like fifty oh, meters I... is not twenty five meters times two in a pool. It's horrific. No, I've never done it. I've never been in one. Or oh, the Cardiff one, it, it drops like they, they have they have bits from the floor coming up to separate the pool and all that. Like so, when you go in, there, they they drop low down. Be rather short one, but when they do shorter one, they'd have us doing like drills and stuff, but. I mean, like, that's late late nights of swimming was as well, but not bad. I mean, you just fill your face in with McDonald's on the way home, man, like. <laughs> Good recovery grub. Yeah. <laughs> eat, like, eat, I was, like, yeah, you man. Man, man, man. Sorry, yeah, you can, can you? Yeah. You can, can you? Because you just flat out all the time, like. Yeah. Do you I train proper for it, bitch? Sorry? <laughs> Do you train proper for it? Or wing it. Looking back, probably not really, but um, first one, like when I done my first one was at uh, twenty thirteen or fourteen, I think it was. Bought my bike second hand off country, four hundred quid board money. We weighed a ton, and uh, 
I couldn't really do my long rides with everybody on a Sunday, which most of people were doing. Like I said, I got old boy, and he was playing rugby and I like so I'd go watch him play rugby and stuff on the weekends. <clears throat> so I was doing mine on a week on the weeknights, finish work and just take my bike to work, and I go out and just do like a sixty odd mile bike ride or. I do the odd. I didn't do enough. I think I done my like second Ironman. I did. I did like only did two hundred miles on the bike. And that's my worst discipline. Like I was, I'm not very good on the bike. But then I, I kind of neglected the running because you think, ah, I get through the run. I, I do better running. I'll get through that. Running, yeah. You just think that yeah, I can run. I'll be alright. Right. I'll, I'll do that. But you, you got this. Yeah. It's totally different. Like totally different. And then you done another one, didn't it? Anyway. Well, I had a year off, and then I, I thought, right, I, I went out with my time. So I thought, oh, I'm, 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 let's, let's, uh, let's get a better bike. So I bought a, bought a better bike, and I knocked 50 minutes off it, so in the second time. And then I was like, the boy's were like, oh, I should do another one. Oh, all right, then, do another one. But it's getting more expensive now. It's like nearly 600 quid now, I think it is, to do it, so... And then I, the last one, no cheap, like. I had a crash on the last one on the finishing street before going up my on my on, my, uh, on the <laughs> um, going into transition like, and uh, basically it was pedestrian crossing. This one his family jumped over the barriers just before going in to put my bike in. Jumped over the barriers, walking with the kids and and it was raining. Slammed on the brakes, skidded, ploughed straight into him. Like, got up, shouted everything, everything blind in sea bombing and there's loads <laughs> of people around like and then I'm just proper going my handlebars bent in bent in. I go sorry Lost sorry it. I said you in real I said look at the state of my knee look at my fucking bike and uh, I, I, I jogged it in then in my, in my in, you know my cycling shoes like to put the bike in and then started running but it got in my head a bit then like and I cut my leg you know a bit of a it's quite just an easy excuse isn't it quick excuse you know I got I had a bike crash or that's why I had a shit time. <laughs> That's it. I need to run hard. Yeah, yeah. Eventful, what? So was eventful. Oh, I was, right? You've done with Iron Man now, Bish, or never say never? Yeah, done with it now. I haven't got a bike anymore. It's so late. It's, um, I don't know if I'm back in it. Back in the struggle, my back I do. And time and the training time, like, if I want to do it again now, like, I want to, I want to go on the... There's no point me doing it just to take part in it, like. If I want to... If I, I want, to yeah, I, want to, I want to be able to train properly, like, and I know it's a big thing. I'd like, like, look, like, if I do it again, I want to try and crack 11 hours, like, I would like to go under there, but I know I wouldn't be able to put the training mm. in to do it, so it's no point, like, no, yeah, yeah it's, like, it's a different level, and then, like, we've had boys on and the boys the weekend, like, I yeah. said to them, like, I think we was talking off the for recording, and they were asking how many miles and hours I do a week, and like. Compared to what them boys do, it's just nothing. Like it's like a totally different beast. I just, I, I yeah. even now my kids are grown up. Like and I, I couldn't commit to it. I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I wouldn't. It'd never say never. But yeah, it's just it's a lot. And they're like a lot of cost, a lot of time, a lot of effort. You know. Yeah. And for me, I don't. Like I wouldn't want to now. It's just got. Yeah, because you've done it. You don't need to just go and do it. Like for me, I might one day. Yeah, I'll just go and do one. You've yeah. got that now. You've done it a couple of times. It's like, well, it's got to be a time target now, surely, isn't it? Yeah, and I know, I know, when to enter, enter stuff just to, just to take part. Like, I don't bother about a medal. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean, I, I want to, I go, <laughs> I do everything for try and beat my last time. Like for me, it's I'm competitive. Like I want to, oh, yeah. I'm not spending all that money like just to rock up and say, oh, I got another medal to chuck in yeah. the box. Like, yeah. In the shoebox, Nicky got a bucket. I don't know where mine are, <laughs> but I haven't got many either. Uh, Iron Man's done, happy days. You just love running and you love Ponty Rollins, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't go down too well in the house, to be honest, but, you know. <laughs> I put a Valentine's post up tonight. That's what I wanted um, to ask. Yeah, I put a Valentine's post on, on and I had a picture of, a picture of my missus, my bike, and the Ponty Rodens badge on the same post. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> uh, that, before we move on, that's, I remembered what I wanted to ask you. That's why my face looked blank. Then. 
You're covered in tattoos, Bish. So have you got an Iron Man tattoo for every Iron Man, or is that one and done? The one I've had is terrible. So I didn't go to the my <laughs> usual... The guy I go to ta- the tattooist I go to is through my mate Dapper's from my stake, like, and I, but the boy is from uh, St. Progen tattoo, st- tattoo Studio. I've been going, for, going to him for about, say, about 15 years now. And I just want... I once I'd done the item, I just wanted to get it done, wanted to get it done. And I went to this place in Cardiff, and, uh, oh, shocking. I come up with a design myself, like, and uh, I just want to get it covered over with now. I just want to, once I finish my back piece now, I just want to get a full leg done and have it covered. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's wrong with it, then? Just shit artwork or shit colour? Do you want to see it? Yeah. I, 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 I probably yeah, have seen it. I have this. got, I have got, got so uh, things on below the waist. So it's supposed to be like a sketch. We have to wait until we get the full edit because it's blurry. Oh, is there? You have to send us a photo and we'll get yeah. it rated. It's probably on. <laughs> it's probably. It's probably on. Well, it's on the picture for this anyway. <laughs> so, Bish, we've been to Iron Man's. We dabbled in M as well. We've got loads to cover. To Ponty Rodents. Why do you love Ponty Rodents? Same reason as Nicky loves Ogmore. What's it? What's the deal down there? You're obsessed with them. Well, to be honest, it's a good group of group of well boys and well everyone really. Start when I first went, it was like I said, it was like thirty, forty odd people, and now it's like two hundred forty, two hundred yeah. fifty. It's just grown massively. Like it's, Mad. I'm on a commit. I'm on a committee as well, and that's just. I'm sat there in a committee meetings and it's goes it's way over my head, like the stuff they talk about. I'm just there for the kit, like I just sort the kit out. And um <laughs> the committee the committee meeting used to be like we used to run from a cricket club in uh, from Ockham Sound Cricket Club. And it would just be like you'd have a meeting and you could have a couple of pints and a pack of crisps, like after and then I said, Oh, can I take over the kit? And that was it then really. But now it's all proper now, like and uh, yeah, it just goes way over my head. I just listen and just you know Nod and I like, but yeah, so the you know, it's, yeah. it's, I think you've got the same, like, yeah, as well. It's got it's the same, like, it was such a big club now. We've got the track facilities up in Bay there, and that's attracted more people. Like, um, you got like massive range of you know, ability with the top, top end boys, like, they f- and they fly in, like, um, yeah, you got the t- and then you got like everyone, and everyone just like it's not like clicky really because everyone got their own little groups within within the club. Like, mm. I, I wouldn't turn up to the club and, like, I don't know what else. I, like, I just want to say this. I turn up to the club and my mates, uh, the group of my mates, I probably run with on a weekend and stuff like that. And everyone's like, ah, go all the way through the club, like. It's just, uh, it's good. It's a good bit of, like, um, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. Camaraderie, is it? I don't know. Good, like. Yeah, I think that's the word. Is it? I don't know. Team it's Spirit, should we call it that? That's the one, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a good crack, <laughs> like, like I said, it's, uh, <laughs> it's um, it's good mix. Oh, like, they attracted so many ambush. I think yeah. it's a trap. Are you headhunters or what? I reckon yeah. like, it's a bit. It's it's a, it's a bit of track like, number two, which probably should be number one kit. Um, and I don't know. I th- <laughs> I think it's like the more more has grown. Everyone's just seeing us. So it was at one point when all the local races we we were having like it was. It was someone in a ponty vest on a podium on every race going through at, at one point. Yeah. And I mean, like, is what, like, Cardiff, have, you know, they've, they, they've gone, there's not many runners there anymore. They've left us. They've left them and come to us. There's, I mean, like, I'm sending vests to people up in Monmouth, like, who've joined the club, or people from Tenby who've joined the club. Well, what does that mean? So, does it? Sorry? That you don't count. When are they coming down to do a track session with you? Well, Grant haven't come to a track session yet either, but, you know, he's still a member. Grant haven't been to any of me. <laughs> no, not one. You only know some boys from Castles. Yeah. I think <laughs> yeah. I think he met, about, met him about four times. One was in Manchester Marathon. I stayed with him, jumped the same bed with him, and the other one I had a he stayed down his house the other weekend. <laughs> Brilliant. To be fair, it is a nice vest. I think 
before we even started the podcast, and when I used to always say I do like the Ponty Vest. If I ever signed for a running club, it would be Ponty because I do like the Ponty Vest. But well, you still sign. We just started a podcast and made a nicer vest instead, Bish. So <laughs> we don't need it now. Hey, we're we doing a we're doing a K- five kick K- on day. I need him. <laughs> I did see that. It's too far for me. Um, what, well, 10K? It takes us on nicely to... I got 10th call 10K now on um, <laughs> Sunday. Probably going to win it. But, um, yeah, so you... Yeah, kit, like you said, it's, kit's really important these days as well. Now. Even when like, you see the running shoes, they're 250, 300 quid. But it's like the fashion aspect of um, leisure wear as well in running is getting bigger and bigger as well. And it? it's like the tracks and the races are like fashion shows as well now. Right up my street, like, I love it. Love it. <laughs> I've always been into like. Same. I was going to ask you. Know? Yeah. That leads us yeah. on to. How do, is it. What's it called then? Is it RDNTS? Because I only it, ever yeah, read RDNTS. it and I got your socks, but. Yeah, RDNTS, what is it, Bish? You, um, me and one of the other boys, he used to be my barber before it, it's gone, like, before I went. But, uh, yeah, I got he's, he joined the club, like, and uh, we're like, majority of this stuff is all, like, the same stuff as you'd see, like, in rugby clubs and or football clubs. Like, we were using Kappa, it's just, and, you know, it'd be the same T-shirts, or like, a, lot, a lot of stuff is Macron now, isn't it? And everything was the same. And, like, mm. me and him were, like, a bit, a bit like, like a bit different alternative stuff, like tattoos and like you know that type of stuff, and similar type of clothing really. Apart from he wears Crocs, I, I ain't, I ain't wearing them. Um, ain't wearing that shit. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so yeah, we just we come up with it. Well, we started in about January, I think it was. We we're going to design the first one, which was like the um, just happens to be behind me. the first one. So we come up with that one really, and then we just tried worked and worked <laughs> on it, and just knocked the hoodies and t-shirts out, and that went really well then. And then we uh, we did the we obviously did the socks and stuff, and like pretty much sold out of them. You know, we got I think we had we we done ordered about two hundred pairs, and like I think we got about twenty thirty odd pairs left. And then you know we're doing the hats and stuff as well. So like it's scope for it. The, the people it's a great club from a great, great response from the club. We've got people from outside the club, like some of my mates who don't even not even into running, nothing at all. Like they just boys have got the gym and they've bought stuff like so. Yeah, it's good. I yeah. love it. It's, it's, it's a bit of a passion of mine. I love all the like the, doing the kit and stuff like that. It's my my little baby, really. Yeah, my nan Alex. You're right. Do what you say, and it's like rugby. <laughs> <laughs> but like you said, from the rugby and football, you get the stash, and it's it's boring, like isn't it. You got your club, your yeah. initial on it, and then like yeah, Macron or Joma or whatever. So it's nice to see like something that's a bit more. Cut, not cutting yeah. edge, but yeah, a bit we, more fashionable like, and something you'd wear out for a pint as well, like, isn't it? Yeah, we like we're working on stuff all the time, like, but we don't want to rush it because you do you you want it to be quality, like. I mean, like, we don't want t-shirt, not yeah. t-shirts are going to be like your 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 end of race t-shirts you get. You know, your, your free your free t-shirt you get at the end of race. We don't want them to be that. We want them to be proper quality, like we want them. Like we we're working on other stuff, like like vests and stuff. But if we want them pucker, like we got to we probably end up being next year, so it's not going to be knocking rubbish out. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that yeah, is important. You've got to go through the try. Yeah, you've got to go through the trying them out and getting samples of everything as well, haven't you? We were yeah. lucky with them. Um, we made our vest with Rack to have been fantastic with us, but he'd already done a different run on samples and knew the size it wasn't quite spot on. So we were yeah. lucky there. We at uh, the same time with him where he'd like already had one sample that wasn't quite right so we've been really lucky with the vests as well and like i said there is a massive gap for it because we've sold 80 vests which is yeah, mental yeah. really because no one listens to the podcast <laughs> <laughs> yeah we haven't bought 40 each <laughs> 80 family members eh? i haven't got 40 vests on under this i'm just a bit chubby at the moment but... everyone well, that's going well like... cool we'll pop links out for that as well what about running, Ambish? Like, what's going on at the moment? Have you got any races coming up? But you, you know that you're training and you sound like you're like switched on within and stuff like that. Is that army discipline or was discipline there before that or is it developed after it? 
I, I just I'm just still like from when as a kid, like I've always done I've always done Tuesday, Thursday running, that uh, training like football or something like that. And I just uh, I just don't I am changed from it. Like the the army, you know, was all right, we we did it to be honest, most mornings you're running in the army, you're still pissed, like because you're, you're on, you, you you know, you go out the night before and you did wake up and you're on, you know, you do it, you're going out, you going out to do squatted runs, like so. And I was, I was in my like, early twenties, like well, seventeen to like twenty odd, like so. I mean, I didn't really have to work hard for then. Like, yeah, no, like I got to have like a couple of boys take a piss on me because I don't do as much mileage as them. Right, like, I kind of like. I might be doing 30, 40 a week. If I can get five, five days of running, no not matter how, how long, I'm going to get my reps in on a Tuesday and doing the other stuff, just jogging. As long as I get that in for the head, like, as well, it works wonders for me. It's like, and then, like, obviously with a marathon, you've got to put the miles in. But then I only did, I think the most miles I did was, like, 69, 70. I'm not really a big miles type person, like. But as long as I get out and do something, then I'm not going to stir crazy and like I've got to do I've always got to you know, do something like but yeah I think next ch- I do a couple of local races not like with Safas and stuff Um, always like to do them got some you know army charity as well military charity and uh, a Cardiff yeah. Art coming up and then I have uh, you know put the feeders in and see if I can do another marathon next year because <laughs> London is I'm going down well but uh I'd like to do Manchester again, I think. I'm doing Manchester next year. Let's do it, Bish. We're going to get B tattoos in after it. <laughs> a B. It's, br- it's a brilliant marathon. It's pro- it's Come back. Pro- Bish. Go on. Did, you, did you get a off for your parking fine from Safa? Nah. Trying to get Adam Bull to pay the cha- his chairman. Like, I thought, oh, come on. Like, it's a charity race, this is. Go on, you know, man of the club, I am, man. Nah, wouldn't pay. <laughs> 25 quid, I was. Club. Pay it. 25 quid. Was it 25 bastards? Okay. It loads. I know. I was shouting at them when I was running past him. Go on. Give, give me 10 minutes, bud. Give me 10 <laughs> minutes. I see him when I come down there. Have you run? No. When you keep the go. <laughs> what? You already had my van, didn't you? <laughs> Bastards. Yeah, and before we move on to the question and answers and everything, Bish, we have to address the speedos and the Santas. That's you are prone to a bit of fancy dress running as well, apparently. Well, so this come about Nick Denny, right? Um, he's the one that groomed me, apparently. He um, he said, "Oh, should do Christmas park." Right? <laughs> well, he probably wants to keep us. He's gonna <laughs> if they they see me. He's, good. he's having the FBI on his doorstep. Trying to groom me, like. Um, He's not a good name. He's not a good name for me, is he? <laughs> yeah, he, um, he said. Uh, he said, "Oh, should we do this uh, speed or something?" Yeah, go on, eh? So we did it the first, his first year. He turned up in these like bright pink briefs, and I turned up in a pair of speedos. Like I said, oh, we do it every year, eh? So I've stuck in it and done it every year since. Now I people wait for me to turn up in it now, and I, I've tried to have different speedos every year. But this year, I bought. I had them custom made from Australia. I had Aussie bum ones with the Ponty badge on the back. They didn't turn up in time. So I just had a, I had a, a Father Christmas G sing thing just lying around. So I put that over a pair of black uh, speed just lying around. Badge. I just had them spare. <laughs> <laughs> I put them over the top. <laughs> Bless. Yeah, so that's a yearly oh, thing, huh? no. So maybe Manchester Marathon. Maybe Manchester next year. And just Cardiff half and pounding the streets and park runs and long runs on a Sunday or so then, is it? Well, the biggest one was Castles, isn't it? So that's the main one for us. Is do your marathon in the spring. Yeah. Castles. And then summer runs in and then get the um, Cardiff half now then. Bit of speed. Yeah. Yeah, love castles. We do as a club. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be in castles next year because castles just looks banging. Also, oh, before we do move on to the questions, we've been before you come on. We were talking about the Tornapandi Track Classic as well because, like we've mentioned, Cardiff half, 
We've mentioned um, castles as well, which are brilliant road races. But there's that massive gap. There's nothing tracks around here at the moment. So hopefully Tornapandi Track Classic can blow the doors off on that as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Right? That that's, a, that's a couple of boys from a club are um, doing, it, uh, doing that. Um, Tom Baird and uh, and James C, I think, is getting involved. Uh, that'd be great. That will nice midweek. It's on Wednesday. Is it? Um, I'm not sure the date. Um, in August, I think it is. Uh, I don't know if August. Yeah, I don't know if you've been up our track. It's, it's a quality track. It's lovely up here, like, the way it is. But, um, like... Yeah, it looks class. I haven't run it. I've been past it. I've not run on it, but it does look class. Yeah, it is, yeah. Lovely facilities up here. It's, um, trying... I think they're trying to like, go on the same thing as, like, uh, Highgate and stuff, because, uh, that's a brilliant event. Yeah. Class, right? Yeah, that's what we spoke about before we come on. It needs it, like, don't it? Wales does need it, like, not obviously grow to that level over years and it would be great if they get good boys up there now and some good yeah. quality racing and a good yeah. crowd up there hopefully as well because yeah, summer's something. night yeah. should be good well we started doing the um, uh, we started doing like a relays in Ponty Park see last year was the first one oh, so right. that was a big that was a big hit but um, I'm not sure what date we tried to settle down for this year we got the yeah, Steadfords in, in Ponty you know, this, uh, this year so yeah just mm. shutting everything down around you so uh, I don't know when we're going to do that one this time, but you know, that was that was a good event as well. Happy days, cool. Right, should we take a quick break and then we'll do this or that and a couple of questions and let you go and put all your vests away back in the wardrobe before your missus plays fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, welcome back. We have got the. Uh, Famous this or that and some questions before we let Bishy shoot off. Nick, what have we got this week on this or that? Yeah, right on. Here we go, Bish. Summer or winter training? Summer. Tops off. Uh, track session or a group long run? Oh. oh, I do like a group long run. Cause I don't do many long runs, to be honest. I'd say track. I said group long runs are great track for like a chat and stuff track. like that, aren't you? But yeah, yeah, they are. That's what, I do like my Sundays when you get a few boys together. They they are good. Like yeah, like I, I don't. Still... Well, I probably don't have like you got a good track session but our club. It's a bit sporadic. Like who turns up, and we don't really haven't got a track. We go to pretend, which is three hundred, and it's a bit shit. So oh, right. I suppose you would track nights are probably a good bit of banter and good hard work with it as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, if we go out, I haven't been for a long run with the boys for, for ages. Like, I used to go, I used to take the kids and chuck them in the, in the buggy and run with people and do it then. But they're, too big for, they're too big for the buggy now. And uh, but I used to go with the other too boys. and in the buggy. Yeah, they were right there. But I don't, like, my long runs for, for marathon training always on a Saturday morning before park run because that's the only time I can get around to do it. Right, then. you can get out. And then, excellent. You don't mind right. the to have a drink in. Go on, the next one. Let's move on because I can see him looking with that. Next one. Right. <laughs> it's a, would you rather run a marathon in your speedos with Crocs on your feet or a marathon in a snowsuit but with Alpha Fly on your feet? Snowsuit, Alpha Fly. <laughs> <laughs> You're just not a Crocs man who's same as me. Hate the fuckers. <laughs> Disgusting. Hey, class boys. You're missing out. Fucking no. loser, guy. Fucking grow up. No. I'll fucking hang his call up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting, man. Right. Um, next one. What's the biggest disappointment you... you? Painy's collapse in 2023? <laughs> or Painy not having a pint... Or him, not, or him not having a pint ready for you at the end of stage seven this year? <laughs> you seen that, didn't you? I know, it was with him, when I? He was like, where's the fucking pint? <laughs> But when you got rent again, when any going to be flipping pack the car in? I know what you said. You, I knew, what did you say to him? I know they got that in there. I fucking been in there. I know I had it last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a pint. It was a pint. Yeah. Him collapsing was just, yeah, yeah. couldn't really help that. He could have helped that. He could just slow down and not run his, like a twat. But uh, yeah, the, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, so the, um, he's over it. He redeemed he's himself. I sent him a birth- it was his- he missed a, um, it was his birthday, that 40th birthday that weekend and he didn't go away for it because of castles and then he ended up cap- uh, collapsing. <laughs> Fucking hell, great weekend he had. Yeah. Right, last one for you, mate. We know you're a Man United fan, so 
bit of a football one. Cantona or Becca? Becca. Whoa, that was quick. That was easy. Oh, he's, a, he's bloody gorgeous, man, isn't he? Oof. Okay. He's my idol. I love him. Fair enough. While we're on the subject of Cantona, I listened to the um, the rest is football ad him on this week. I listened to it this morning on the way home. He is a mad guy, like. Oh, no. I haven't listened to it. It's good. I enjoy it. Right, Bish, a couple of um, Q and A's. Um, first one. Will you tow the line for the biggest track race of the year this year? From Tonopandi Track Classic. Right. Win or out? Oh, oh I've, I've only done, ever done one track race. It was a 10K and it felt like it went on forever. I, I don't think it's for me, but I wouldn't mind if it was a shorter distance and 5K. Or maybe, I don't know, if there's any vets going, any over 40s, like, am I doing that? Yeah, they might have to have the vets race for us. Yeah, good show. Yeah. You'll be down watching, no, Bish, will you? Oh, I definitely got to watch, yeah. So it's not far from me, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely... If I'm not... Oh, yeah. You can jump on with us and give us some uh, some um, expert feedback on the lives or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, how fast do you think you could run a mile and a half now? I've seen that. Um, well, we had to do our kitted, so I don't know what I did it then. I think I... Oh, it's army one, is it? Yeah. That's got to be about... I'd say... It's going to be about six, six minutes or something like that. I'm not really good at maths, right? So, I'm going to say, I'd say about <laughs> six, six minutes or something like that. I can't remember what we had to do it before for a minimum. I think oh. it was like ten minutes I think we had to do it in to get in. Was it? Te- I think it did all that, is there? With, with yeah. the bag? Yeah, I think so. It's a long time ago, mine's. <laughs> it was. Um, right, let's get these out of the way from your kid. How do you feel about your son having better hair than you? <laughs> it's going to go like this, but don't worry. I had my time. I had my time. I don't yeah, time. Time will come. <laughs> yeah. Your time will come. Um, what makes you go faster? Is it your bald head or the lack of meat on your bones? That's on him as well, isn't it? He's massive yeah. himself, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. No answer, Bish? Oh, sorry. Yes. Both? <laughs> Neither? Um, both, uh, I don't know. Let's go for the meat, then. <laughs> the lack of meat. Um, cool. <laughs> Right. Um, a new question that's been suggested to us. We're going to ask all our guests. Um, what's your favourite song to run to? Oh, Ness and Doma. Or, oh, I don't know. Oh, of, um... we got to, before we get on to anything else, you need to tell us about your famous speeches for castles. Because you've sent me the one from last year and this year. And they are mad. Well, Do they get the people off. going? Oh, yeah. It gets me going. It started off, right? Um, <laughs> on, the, on the way to work, two phones, you um, playing one music, I had first phone and one phone, and then on my other phone then, one's a work phone, the other phone then, it's not a burner phone, it's nothing dodgy, right? And uh, the other phone then was like recording it, right? And it started off just like, oh, just play a bit of music in the background, and I just started screaming and shouting at my phone, that was the first year. And as this gone on now, I brought more things into it. Now I got one of the boys out, Doug. He does a bit. He's a bit of a uh, producer, so I got him involved in it. He's a bit of echoing and stuff in the background, and I guess a little bit. I like proper write it all out and add and time things and stuff. And yeah, <laughs> people see me in the car park shouting. Proper work. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Last last year I was sitting in, over the in car park over by the field. To the bottle of lager, sat in my van, and just screaming and shouting into his phones like in my van. I love the sight. It does work well. It does work. Height <laughs> man. Yeah, fair play, Bish. You love it. Um, and last one, who would play Darren Bishop in a movie about his life? 
Right, so I thought about this, right? I've had a couple of lookalikes over the years, right? So on a good day, I've had Adam Levine, right? And on a bad day, I've had Andy Murray, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so one of them. <laughs> we could just get a more you and the movie could just be the ups and downs of your life, like. <laughs> You're having a good day, Adam Levine's there playing you. And then on a the bad day, Andy Murray's there with his um, mad air, like. Mom. With his mom, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Bish. Oh, brilliant. I enjoyed that, Bish. We've been all over the shop again, but I think we covered loads of fun topics and had a lot of good laughs. Yeah, I probably um, told loads, but... Any other questions, Nick, before we wrap it up? No, I enjoyed that. Great laugh, as, uh, as usual, um... Great for coming on. Cheers, Bish. Thanks, guys. We'll definitely catch up in Cardiff half, and we will try over. We try and come over and do a Ponty Park run, but um, we do, well, it's stopping for about it. six I don't know if I said they? what is shutting it down or not. Yeah. Is that what I was going to say? We are doing. I spoke to Bull the other day because we are going to do Park Brimbach on the first week of August. Yeah. So Bull's coming up, so if you want to tag along with him and come up for that as well, that'd be class. Yeah, I might do, yeah. I might, I might be on all these then. Uh, well, I'll see. I'll uh, definitely jump on one. Yeah. yeah. Well, if, you're, if you're on all these, you're about. Yeah. Here we are. Yeah, but Happy yeah. days. Nick? Cheers, best. Right, that's it for another week from us. Um, big weekend ahead, and we will see you on the start line of Puss Call 10K. Let's go.